Welcome to The Advocate, a program that thrashes out all the topical issues of the day. When you are in government, you don't see nothing wrong mm, with exactly. whatever is happening. Self the moment impressed. you are out there, everything is that wrong. Is, you can't even see yes. many women now, and when they're there, they're not even really making a mark, and then they have an NYSC problem, and this and that. Really? It's disastrous for a president to, even say to be he's unaware. unaware of it, the chief it's justice. It's a ploy. It could be a strategy. That strategy was it's a very, terrible. Like <laughs> terrible strategy. <laughs> because the box stops at your table. Whether it's that we don't look after our cities, and quite frankly, Nigeria is becoming a very ugly place. Mm. When you are the only one feeding the people with this news, and there is nobody countering them, it becomes, you know, the, the news. Thanks, Shagun. When there is a mammoth task that requires, in, that requires national engagement, and there is neither willingness nor the execution, the disconnect requires investigation, doesn't it? Young women in our country seem to be interested in anything but politics. We are strong businesswomen and entrepreneurs, activists, environmentalists, directors, movie producers, educationists, pilots, but we seem to shy away at the very mention of the word politics. This is expected given the violent and dark turn our politics has taken. The apathetic nature is natural. For example, the PDP woman that was burned in Kogi State. That was terrible. As it stands, women constitute more than half of Nigeria's population, but research has shown most of these women are just basically voters or not active at all. The best at which you can see them is they are the women leaders and they are the ones behind the wrapper with the face of the political candidate. They really are not being pushed forward for leadership positions apart from those that seem to be gender specific. And really, politics shouldn't be gender specific. It's, it's neutral. Why? As young women, we should be concerned with putting forward representatives who would table our interests in the sphere of national discourse. Still, we seem to, de we seem to be in the minority, the very little, little, like a pinch of salt minority. Politics is the arena where important decisions are made, decisions that talk about our lives, our rights, everything, our bodies. The truth is, and it's common sense, really, when women are not around, their interests are not debated, our concerns will never be taken into consideration because there's no one there to advocate for them. Not just women, really, not just any woman, but women who are, not women who are self-serving, but vibrant, intelligent, and passionate women whose sole reason for being in office is to serve the people. The truth is, there must be an intentional effort, emphasis on intentional, to engage young women in politics because they are needed. Our society needs us, the unborn generation needs us, the other women need us. We are stronger when we are together, our voices united as one, speaking the truth to power. And to be honest, if we do not have young women in politics, then we will have no women in politics. I quite agree with you. And the one that I can't stand is when all that you see women do for politicians and during the uh, campaign season mm -hmm. is Tyrappa. Yes. <laughs> Ashwebi. <laughs> and generally dance away all the time, dancing and dancing. <laughs> Yellow I should be today, green I should be to tomorrow. I mean, it doesn't make sense. It doesn't. It doesn't make it, sense. It it makes women look like you know. It speaks to tokenism. Myopic. Yeah, it's 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 so limiting, and I, I'm passionate about this all the time. We talk about women in politics, mm. even if you're not educated, you're mm. illiterate, you're at the grassroots. Mm. It doesn't take away from you. Mm -hmm. it, it it doesn't make you uninformed about what you need in your environment, and we should mm -hmm. be asking politicians when they come to you. Exactly. You should be asking, my children, no, Oga. What are you going to give these children? I have this, I have pretty much like the sanitary part thing too. Exactly. Uh, you want to give us uh, some money to, you know, vote buying, <laughs> and you're giving people a certain amount of money to do what? Women at the grassroots, mm -hmm. young girls at the grassroots, you should be smart enough to be able to ask these questions. Yes. Mm -hmm. So, Pretty much, Nafisa, what you have talked about, women don't want to get into politics because it's all violent in this part of the world. It's more violent. The more we talk, it looks like the, the lesser we're represented. Yeah, you know what? Guys, okay. I, I think we must begin to uh, situate the gender issue, mm -hmm. you know, as an advocacy that is linked with social justice. 
because there's no such thing as a weaker sex or no such, such things as the uh, other alternative in terms of women, men, there must, there must be, uh, not be any disparity or difference between male and female in as much as the responsibility is there, the will is there, and the capacity, capability, uh, uh, conscientiousness, and the ability to deliver is already evidence. So if we begin to see this as our responsibility to support people who can actually represent us, be it male or female, mm -hmm. we should be able to see this as a problem that affects all society. Because left to me, I would rather have a president that is a woman because she can feel the pulse on the street better than a man who has ego issues. You understand? So based on that, I think we must begin to see this as uh, something that shows our accountability as a human being to begin to support the female folks in their uh, bid to run for office. Yeah. And I think we should encourage ourselves, our children, our family, female in our uh, offices, to actually begin to you know, raise the awareness as mm -hmm. far as politics is concerned. It is essential. Um, I think for me, it's just like you said, um, get support them yes. when they want to run. It's not, the problem is not supporting them. The problem is, like you said, getting them interested yes, in you. the first place. If they know they will um, be supported, they yeah, will. But, but, but like she also said, which is what you said was this, the, the, the culture and the, the, the political atmosphere. system, the atmosphere. It's too, I mean, I really want, I can't say that to you. Okay. Um, <laughs> okay. <laughs> I really, let me say, I really want to go back to my state and run for office. Right? Guess what my state is? River State. Interesting. You definitely oh, like, wow. no, right? You don't want to do that. You exactly. don't want to right now. Even as a man, I don't want that. I don't want to do that because the way the system, the culture, the it's killings, the, 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 the corruption, they've made politics look so so dangerous. So gangster. So gangster. Like you have to, you have to be a certain way. The, the language, the tones. I don't want to be part of that. Nobody wants to be part of that, right? So the first thing is simplify it. How do we simplify it? And make it look relatable, make mm -hmm. it look, con you know, connecting, where people can see themselves running for office and being part of something. Exactly. That's the first step. The general system, ha not just for women, but men, young people, it has to be, it has to be rebranded. Do you understand what I'm saying? That's what, that, that's what, that's what I think. That's, where, that's, where, that's the issue we have to, first of all, tackle and address. Um, okay, let me quickly jump in. Okay. There's, there's a solution in my head. Yeah. Okay, so I am thinking, Nafisa, you've worked in secondary schools. Yes. Why don't we start something like uh, some, some sort of um, campaigning for girls? I know some NGO does this sort of thing, so you, but this will be targeted at girls. So you make them run for mm. office for office while in school, so you can run for a head girl and yeah. run for this and run for that and just yeah. socialize them to into... To be honest, yeah. you know, part of the reason why I feel like I'm really politically enlightened was because I ran for office when I was in secondary school. Right. You, you know, weren't so, appointed. I mean, you weren't just... No, 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 no. I ran. I ran. I did the whole manifestos. I told, I, you know, shared awesome. stuff. It was a whole typical carnival, but it was mm. really fun. It was mm. literally you putting yourself out yeah. there and making yourself accountable to your fellow students. Mm. Right. Junior B, senior B, your teachers or whatnot. Yeah. You know, Brilliant. I yeah, I ran for I was in SS one, funny enough. I yeah. ran for assistant dormitory prefect and yeah. I won. And then we never had any election again. But after that I literally became head girl. You know, it's it was you know, it made it normal. Okay, I think Bola is not saying anything. No, no, I'm, I'm taking in a lot and it, the listener. Yeah. Yeah, the listener. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. 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 No, the interesting thing is that I mean I must commend you, first of all, for what you're doing here. Because at the end of the day, it takes a whole village. Mm -hmm. yes. You know, there has to be a tribe of people that are going to try to change that perspective. Mm -hmm. Somebody here said that something about culture. Mm -hmm. Whether you like it or not, even our president said the woman is supposed to be in a one part of the house. So what is it that we have been put inside our heads mm -hmm. as women mm -hmm. we have a lot of capacity mm -hmm. you know we can we're ch age we're change makers where there's something there's nothing we cannot turn around mm -hmm. but if we don't have the, the mindset and the right support system to push us mm -hmm. because we need each other male yeah. female mm -hmm. then we've lost it mm -hmm. but so going back into the classroom and engage engaging even parents mm -hmm. When we speak to our children, our female daughters, we mm -hmm. need to push them, let them have their own identity, know that there's nothing they cannot change. But it takes 
all of us encouraging each mm. other. Like I said in my advocacy, there must be intentional effort to see true change. Here's where you keep us intentional through your feedback. On the 37 billion naira renovation of the House of Assembly, Phantom 2K10 says 37 billion naira to renovate a place that is in working order, but our health care and education system is in a wreck. Not to mention our power supply in the country is also in shambles. This is why more of us should get involved in politics. Still on the same matter, Blessing Agoha says we didn't vote them into that legislature. The ones that entered the right and lawful, we are in the minority. So what do you expect? Don't fool yourselves. Over 69% of them found their way to that house through their godfathers and their murderous means. Wow. They can never work for your good because the good ones are few. Blessing, I wonder where you got this 69% figure from. At least you acknowledge that there are some good ones, although they are in the minority. On the matter of pregnant schoolgirls, Prince HWC says, what if the partner is no more or not in school? Maybe a mechanic or someone learning a trade. How will that be effective? The best thing to do is to educate our young girls and boys, giving moral education and make them see the consequence of engaging in sexual activities, not only pregnancy, but also an infection. Needs could be a major culprit in this. If the family cannot provide enough, most girls are vulnerable and are easily preyed upon with empty promises. Also, if the male partner happens to be in school, he should face the biggest penalty because the process of carrying a pregnancy is tough enough. So the male should get capital punishment. Interesting perspective. Interesting. Prince, I know you don't mean capital punishment per se, or do you anyway we get your gist? Thank you all for your feedback. We love hearing from you. Do keep your comments coming in on Facebook, Plus TV Africa, hashtag the advocate NG on Twitter and Instagram at Plus TV Africa, hashtag the advocate NG. To catch up with previous broadcasts, go to www.plustvafrica.com slash the advocate. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, Plus TV Africa. After the break, bright Jaja, that is, gives voice to the young and voiceless. You could say it, as an, it is an extension of my advocacy. The button is now in your hand, bright.